Hello and welcome to another Chatterware tutorial and uh, we're going to learn a little bit more about the detail side of Now We're Talking today and as a backdrop we've got the Cinti Studios Polygon Town Pack which is this awesome uh, this is the demo scene that comes with it it's just filled with some terrific stuff from Cinti Studios now here's our character he's a businessman He's got his fancy car um, one thing he hasn't got is a mouth and so we're going to give him a mouth right now let's have a look at the character himself here's his hierarchy I've opened it up there's um, an animation armature here this is the root of that and as you can see we've got spine 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 we need to follow the spine up to the neck to find the head uh, these are all the different bones that are in the animation armature so the head bone is um, on the end of that where you can see that uh, that cursor there now what we want to do is put the now we're talking prefab which is in the now we're talking folders prefab there we're going to take that and we're going to drag it onto the head bone because um, the head bone will keep it fixed in place um, wherever we decide we're going to place it now now we're talking should be at a zero 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 one 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 on the head bone if the head bone moves try and find another um, element to attach the prefab to which doesn't move so that it, the, the prefab of the mouth can stay in the same place when the character animates that's effectively what we're trying to do here now we can see this strange object floating around here this is called the lips pivot and um, it's floating around at the minute because this is set to four we're going to reset it back to zero 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 one 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 and that'll put us um, right in the middle of uh, his his head somewhere in there now we'll just have a little closer look we'll zoom in a bit and you can see it's there so what we need to do is rotate it round and it's got to sit on the front here where his mouth would be and that's the objective of the next bit so the lips pivot has got um, it, it's a transform and we can position that transform as long as we keep it um, near to where we're now we're talking we can actually rotate it and scale it slightly um, let's just try and work out so it would be we're in that way so minus 90 would get us facing the right way so we want the mouth to be poking out through here so we can grab it slightly and just drag it through the face like that now the mouth is going to be let's just try and find out where it's going to be it's going to be um, left a bit uh, down it's going to be about there I would think but it's too far out it's too far forward the best place is um, to, to place the mouth is just on the edge of this like surfboard here so somewhere around about there will be nice and we can check that by just literally running unity and we'll see it in place and that looks okay um, we'll just have a little look it's just a little bit proud but that's okay because actually most of the time you're going to be viewing it from an angle where you can't see that it's just slightly uh, out of the face mesh so let's have a little look at that let me just try and um, I just want to rotate it a little bit I think I think it needs to go that way a little bit these small adjustments on the lips pivot uh, are basically how you manage to position the mouth now look at this the mouth that we're using at the minute is lips capsule and we can look at that in the now we're talking script so let's have a look at that let's look down down the script uh, there's the capsule there and it's set up so that we've got the data presets these are uh, standard working 
mouth settings so that if you want to just literally drag and drop the prefab on start with one of these settings and add one of our voice clips from farmers or pirates um, it'll just work and that gives you a sense of how it actually works and then when you record your own uh, voices when you pop them into now we're talking you can use these presets as a way to start to develop your own let's see let's see that in action shall we here we have a list of, it looks very complicated and to be honest it it isn't it isn't if you use the data presets it's very simple you literally choose the mouth and all the data changes if you watch these sliders you'll see if I go to mouth one the data set is like that if I go to mouth two it's like that and if I go to mouth three it's like that now we're going to leave it on mouth three it's a smaller mouth there as you can see and what we'll do is we'll just we'll just stop it there because we want to the changes that we make to be permanent so I'm going to select some audio from this pirates uh, folder and I'm going to drag an audio clip onto now we're talking clips there so he will now just speak this one line if you wanted more lines you would literally just drag more voices in like this and it will speak them in this order element 0 element 1 element 2 now we only actually want one so we'll go back to our one and we're going to run unity and we're going to try and we're going to watch uh, let's just see which mouth we've got we've got mouth one first and the data presets are in we can check that by doing that to get the mouth to actually speak you just literally enable now we're talking play audio yeah me rum and it's as simple as that so we're going to swap over to mouth three because this is the one i want to look at today here's a uh, that same line again but with a different shape mouth yeah okay so that's quite expressive actually let's just get rid of that let's try again we'll say the same line over and over again yeah so it's not bad at all that now what are the options and what can you change well let's let's have a little look we are using the lips sphere this is uh, mouth three and uh, at the minute we've got mouth material black and we can actually swap that out for let's go for a dark red so now it's more in tone with his the, the, the character's face and his coloring so here we go we'll try that again yeah yeah that looks good now um if you wanted him to have teeth you could just drop in uh the the teeth material that just paints it white effectively yeah doesn't work so well on this character but um on some characters different colors certainly help and uh we have a a little dwarf character at a bridge for an NPC uh, in a role-play game as a video and you can see the differences between the teeth mouth and the normal uh, sphere mouth which is what we're using here and if you're going to have a look at that on YouTube you'll see that the uh, the character himself looks like his his teeth are you're seeing his teeth through the beard it, it's actually very effective yeah okay so there we have a character already talking so we'll just stop that um, now let's have a look at what's on the now we're talking script we've got an element called my eyes and it says drag and drop the eyes direct from your character to this slot now the Sinti characters have eyes and I've done this deliberately what we've done is we've allowed you to grab the eyes and you can drop them in there and you can actually do the same with the eyebrows and drag them in there and there's a little switch here which says blink on 
eyebrows on so you keep those turned on and there's your maximum blink timer so this can be set to very long or very short and somewhere between 0 and you know in this case 32 units of time uh, the character will operate his eyes and his eyebrows so here we go let's have a little look yeah where's me rum so it just adds a little bit of dynamism to his face makes him look yeah, a bit more alive where's me rum yeah where's me rum now then let's have a little bit of a closer look at this um you can see here that the eyes and the eyebrows are not working terribly well. So what you need to do in that case is just stop uh, Unity and grab the eyes and just move them slightly further forward. Let's do that again. Like that. And then do the same with the eyebrows. Maybe move them up a little bit. And eventually you'll get to a point where they just work. Um, let's have a look, see how that's working now. Yeah, where's me rum? Get the eyes and just pull them a little bit more through. And the eyebrows the same. And um, we should make him look a lot better. There we go. Yeah, where's me rum? Yeah, where's me rum? <laughs> These pirates. Yeah, where's me rum? So that looks good. Right, well, I've taken off the eyes and the eyebrows now, so we won't be distracted. Let's look at some more of these. Um, parameters audio source yeah that's this audio source it's a standard audio source you don't need to change anything here unless you want to use the spatial blend uh, or the loop um, and the only time you'd really want to use the loop is when you're actually setting up a voice with a single voice clip and you want to just make sure your parameters are correct if you set that um, hit play audio it will play over and over again so we're not going to do that today um, all these will affect the shape of the mouth based on the data sent back from the audio clip that's really for another video let's look at some other stuff underneath uh, okay random selection from list yes let's tick that so effectively if you have a long list of things, let's say we put all these, oh, hold on, let me just lock that there. Let's say we put all these clips into there and we have a long list of clips like that. And these are all, maybe these are all greetings, but they're different ways of saying hello. Um, and it's just basically to have a nice, nice random selection of, of words or phrases that a character could say to the player. If you click random selection from list yes, it will randomly select from this list. So let's have a little look at that. Let's see how that works in practice. Um, we'll unpadlock that. So to get the voice to speak, now we're talking play audio needs to be enabled. So here we go. Oar. Oar. Right. I'm just gonna. I was just gonna put us on voice, mouth. Mouth shape three. Hold on. There we go. That should we should see that better. Yar! Ar! <laughs> Where's the rum? <laughs> okay. So let's have a look. Were they were they randomly selected? Well, it says that was number nine from the list. Let's just see what's. Let's pop this down here. And then let's open another inspector here and we'll go to the now we're talking prefab so we should be able to see the random selection from list will be listed here that's the number that we're going to um, actually play next so here we go 
Yeah, where's me rum? So that was number 16. Who are? Where's the rum? Number four. Who are? Number three. <laughs> number nine. Yeah, where's the rum? Number 15. Yeah! Number 10. So you can see it's pulling out randomly from this list. And um, those those clips will be played and it will try very hard not to play the same clip twice in a row. Um, it might fail occasionally, but effectively, because it's a dynamic list and you can have however many in there, what I've done is program it so that um, it tries to select one randomly rather than play the same one over and over again. Cool, right, so let's have a look what else there is here. Oh yes, welcome yes, and then welcome clip. So, let's find a farmer. Good morning, universe. So it's good morning, universe. So it's clip two. Let's put clip two in there and turn welcome clip on. And what's going to happen is, before it plays one of these random ones, the first voice it's going to play is this welcome one which is you know would be like welcome player i've not seen you for a hundred years and then he'll never say that again because he it would be stupid to say the same thing again so it will just be a one shot one off so let's have a look and see if that works okay we're gonna start the uh, so the player walks over to the character and the character goes good morning universe so, <laughs> So he switches at the end of it, good morning universe, and then switches to the pirate. So that was um, voice 12 from our list of clips here. So presumably uh, this one. So, um, and it's also turned off so that it doesn't do it again. Yeah, so obviously. So let's just do that again. Arr! Now we're doing the random Yarr! clips again. Yarr! Excellent. Good. So, what else is there? Well, um, uh, oh yes, so this little bit here is actually covered in another video. Um, if you go and look on the Chatterware YouTube channel, you'll see um, a sci-fi mechanical robot um, mouth uh, tutorial and that will give you an idea Th this is basically like the Daleks when they speak their lights flash on and off this is so you don't have to hand code that kind of effect um, this will allow you to flash between two materials on any number of objects uh, which you just put a list of objects here you can turn the flash on and off and you can set a parameter here which um, if you highlight over it says uh, the material swap when this threshold is met. So that's basically, um, you know, the control parameter here. And you can have it do less or more based on where you put that slider. So, well, that's a quick rundown of some of the detail in Now We're Talking. Um, I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, all I say is uh, we'll catch you next time on the tutorials for Chatterwares. Now we're talking. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.